There is frost on this row cover this morning, but it looks like there's not any underneath the row cover. I have had an issue with this coming untucked. So either I need to try and make it tighter with the clothespins or put something else on there. It is a bright sunny day though. The pea bed is ready to go. And this weekend we'll be putting those seeds in the ground. I wondered why that plant was getting smaller and not bigger. No shame at all. Greenhouse is looking good this morning. And since the thermometer tells me it's well above freezing right now, a lot of these guys are going to go outside again. Look at these pepper sprouts, y'all. My quirky quarter acre has warmed up considerably since the sun came up and all of my youngins that can go outside have come outside. The cabbage and the kohlrabi are not looking so great and the spinach isn't either and I think perhaps transplanting kohlrabi is not the best plan but I'm gonna see if I can get these guys to hang in there until they can go outside. You can see where somebody stuck a paw in the greenhouse when it was open and smushed my onions. The chard is finally starting to take off and look better. Although there are a few empty slots in there now that have died. These beets just loved being outside the other day. They have done really well. And both the Merlin and the Detroit Dark Red have sprouted extremely well. The chives and the thyme are also looking pretty good, and I'm going to have to get a big container for both of those because I don't want either one of them to take over the garden. The chamomile is still tiny. This one over here did not sprout at all, and so I'm going to, I replanted that with all of the seeds that I had left, so at least I'll have a few. I'm assuming these guys are going to make it. I don't see any reason why they won't. And then I'll put those in a container also. Celery. Still really tiny. The celeriac, for some reason, has decided it's not going to grow that well after all, I guess. I did replant this again, but I don't know. It may be just that I'm doing something wrong. Maybe that the seeds aren't that great. There's really no way to know for sure, but I'm going to keep trying. I also replanted this celery because none of it sprouted, and I'm really disappointed with that. The lettuce is looking really good, though. Look at those leaves. They're so nice and big. And my potted up Brussels sprouts are really growing. I'm very excited about those. There are the leeks, which have a long way to go, but they're looking healthy. And then the recently potted up lettuce. I'm still amazed at the difference between the timing. These were planted about the same time, y'all. And these were the ones that were potted up earlier. And these are about two weeks behind on being potted up, so yeah. Sunday, February 25th. The peas got planted yesterday and I just came out here and planted them without thinking about doing video. Since I'm still new to all of this, I kind of forgot the camera yesterday, but I planted peas and spinach in here. I still have to fill this bed. I did put some soil in this bed. And I planted the rest of the peas over here. These are the snow peas, and the other ones are the sugar snap peas. It's like some of my garlic peaked out overnight. And I noticed that the other, the other side of the row cover is loose, so I'm going to have to fix that. But 
I came down here this morning because today I'm going to work on these two beds. This is the onions and leeks down here on the end. I mean the uh, this is the garlic down here and these two beds don't have anything in them. So I'm going to put out some lettuce and chard and some more onions since we don't expect to get a freeze for a few more nights and I think they'll be just fine. It's a little windy out here this morning but I think it'll be alright. I'm going to put lettuce in this bit. The soil looks really good in there. Very nice and loose, so I think the lettuce is going to go in very easily. It'll be nice to finally have some more room in the greenhouse because I'm going to have to start tomato plants in just a few days. Look at that. Past time for these to go in the ground. Well, these look good and I really am pleased with their progress so far. I'm not sure I'll start lettuce inside again. It's just kind of a hassle and I think it'll grow just fine out here if I just plant it. This is butter crunch lettuce and it makes a head and I think I'll be pretty impatient waiting for these so maybe next time I'll try a leaf lettuce so that I can cut it as I need it but it's looking good and we are supposed to get rain tomorrow so I hope these guys will be fine it is uh, the soil is good and damp so I don't feel like I need to water them but I hope they'll do well. Next up these Brussels sprouts. That's one tray of chard because the rest of it isn't very big yet. Onions and leeks finally going in the ground. Brussels sprouts and lettuce in the ground. Now I have to go over to the other side and set some onions. Y'all look at this. I was moving the soil out of the raised bed that I'm not going to use anymore. And I uncovered this guy. It's a little frog. And he's hibernating. He's hibernating, so I don't want him to freeze. I'm going to cover him back up. Okay, I've got the onions in here. One fun thing. When you go to move an onion tray, and you have four different kinds of onions in there, and you drop the tray, and the markers all fall out, you're probably going to get onion surprise later on. I don't know which ones are which, except for the green onions, which I've put right down here. And those will be harvested early, but the rest of them, who knows? Reburied the toad. So hopefully it will be all right. So now we'll put the cover back on. And then we will wait. All right, the rug cover's back on. So now we wish them the best. I have moved some of the soil, but where the things are still growing, I'm gonna leave those. I did pull up a few of the radishes that really weren't in the account, so I'll probably just go ahead and harvest these so I can move the soil. There are still some carrots in there. Can't tell if they're doing anything or not. And this garlic is looking pretty good even so, so I think I will leave it 
I did pull one up just to check it, but it's not doing much of anything except growing more roots. Which is fine. A good root system is important. And we'll hope for the best for the little toad there. I hope I didn't squish him. It's a good thing I didn't hit him with the shovel. Or her. I did move some of the soil from over there. But I still have to fill up this bed and finish filling up those two so that I can get the rest of the things out here when they're ready to go, like the cabbage and the kohlrabi and the spinach. Oh, and I think the beets are going to go here. So now I'm going to take my trays in, clean them up, get them ready to use again. These are the few radishes that I pulled and one turnip, two turnips, maybe they're super small, but they might make a bite or two, so why not? They're not doing anything otherwise, and I do need to move that soil. I put one six cell in the ground of the chard, and we'll see how that does, and this can grow a little bit more. That was a good morning's work. And now I'm cold, so I'm going to go in and make myself a cup of tea. Hope everybody has a good day. Thanks for watching.